opinions are like assholes. Everybody got them. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody got them. For you guys who are long-time viewers, you know this isn't the first time I'm making this video. This may be part 3 or part 4. But I find the statement quite useful. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody got them. Everybody got one. So let's analyze the statement first of all. Opinions. So opinions. So what, what is an opinion? An opinion is a mental construct in regards to... A particular topic subject so that's an opinion it's a construct it's a mental construct so opinions are like so similar in 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 the light of on the same token so opinions are like assholes now what are assholes assholes and if you'd like to know what an asshole is just take your hand and uh, see where your buttocks are and, and uh, just move them a little bit down there's a hole there and it's responsible for excreting waste matter also known as fecal matter and it is often the result of uh, eating foods and then the body has to process the foods and it has to uh, get rid of the waste quite a brilliant design if you ask me so uh, now, what is special about an asshole? Nothing. Why so? Because everybody has one. Everybody has an asshole. Really, I mean, think about it. You got an asshole. You get an asshole, but so does your neighbor. So does your mom. So does your dad. So does that hot girl in your class or in, in, your, in your work. So does a horse, so does a dog. All mammals practically have assholes. Males, females. I mean, really, assholes are, uh, you know, in, in many ways. <laughs> the one consciousness, assholes can be looked at as sort of a, a, a unitary force, a unitary concept. Because everybody has an asshole. Everybody poops, everybody shits. Unless you're a breatharian, then you manage to beat that one. You manage to transcend that one. And I'm quite jealous. Because I'll tell you folks, I'm getting tired of shitting. I'm getting tired of farting. But that's a video for another topic. So, then, on the same token, everybody has an opinion. Your mom has an opinion, your dad has an opinion. That hot girl has an opinion. Your neighbor has an opinion. The peasants back in Russia in the 1800s had an opinion. Everybody has an opinion about something or other. Oh, uh, do you like uh, do you like it when it rains? Oh, yeah, I really do. Uh, it's good for my crops. Or no, I don't. I get cold from it, and I just don't really like it. Everybody has an opinion, and so an opinion is nothing special at all. Really, it isn't nothing. It, it's not special whatsoever. Because in the same way that it isn't special to have an asshole, due to the redundancy, there's a cow over there. I'm pretty certain, I'm making an educated guess there, that that cow has an asshole as well. And the nice thing is I don't have to know what the gender of that cow is because males, females, they all have assholes. Uh, and I'm also pretty certain that these cows at some level have opinions too at some level there it's not as complex as a human being but at some level hey cow do you like to be tortured cow probably say no or uh, feels like i don't want to be tortured 
it's a form of opinion, just not as complex as a human being. So, opinion, so everybody has an opinion. Uh, I think you are loud, Saeed. I think you're loud. You make too much noise. That's my opinion. That's my attachment. Oh, Saeed, I love it when you sing and you dance and you just do you. I used to do, uh, you know, I when I was going to the gym back in my days and I was sort of like, a, you know, kind of loud and just sort of put on my music and dance to it and uh, you know I was doing all these calisthenics so you can't miss me you walk in the gym if I'm there you're gonna know I'm there you're just gonna know there's just a lot of movement going on and 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 a lot of a lot of things happening okay let's just say that and I uh, had some people that come up to me and say bro I uh, really admire the way you just express yourself in the gym it inspires me to do the same. And then on the same token, I've had people who, well, behind my back, of course, but I got to know from the gossips, my little birds told me uh, that they would very much like to smash me in the face and uh, they really just hated my guts. Of course, they could never say it to me in person because uh, they, you know, first of all, you know, people in Canada don't really do that. There's a lot of, you know, fake politeness. Second of all, you know, it's it's like this guy is like kicking the bag and doing all kinds of things and flying in the air. You know, I, I don't know what kind of reaction I'm going to get from him. If I go up to him and be like, I want to smash your face. Maybe he's going to kick me in the face like he kicks that bag or something, you know, so... Of course, I uh, never really actually had people come up to me in person and say, I'd like to smash you in the face. I'd like to really just, I mean, ugh, why you got to be such an obnoxious asshole? And so that's opinions, you know, everybody has an opinion. Like my opinion is you're a piece of shit who should be more considerate of others. Or my opinion is you're such an inspiration. You know, the way you express yourself, you're so authentic. You know, it's like, that's just all, everybody has an opinion, right? Everybody has, has, and I have an opinion too. Like I have a certain opinion that, oh, I uh, think I am just being me. That's my opinion, right? That's my opinion. Or, oh, I think being loud is okay. An opinion. You know, like uh, I live in Pi and people here are conservative. So there is an opinion uh, mass consensus, let's say, amongst the locals at least, that uh, one must not be shirtless. That's just an opinion be based on Buddhism and bu because Buddhism, of course, is not very fond, let's say, of the human body and uh, nudity. People here uh, in the conservative parts of Thailand, which here it, it is, I mean, it is here in Pai, the locals are pretty conservative. Uh, the man... And the woman, when they have sex, they turn off the lights because it is uh, improper to see uh, your wife naked or see your husband naked. So that's an opinion. It's a cultural, based on cultural programming. And then, uh, then of course, you got the nude, nude beaches, right? Nude beaches express a certain opinion that, hey, look, it's okay to be naked. It's okay. I mean, we can all be naked here. I mean, that's an opinion too. So then you see that an opinion is a mental construct based on uh, programming, mental programming. And so based on mental programming, you form a certain opinion. Uh, and then, yeah, that's your opinion. And that's uh, your essentially what you think ought to be. Well, basically, it's essentially what you think ought to be. I think reality ought to be a certain way. I think we should all be naked, or I think we should all be clothed. So when you realize that, how could you care what other people think? How could you? How could you? How could you? Because it hits you like, oh man, it's all mental projections anyway. It's not, it's all mental projections based on certain programming, which in most cases is just cultural programming. 
Most people, the vast majority of people, have formed opinions, mental constructs, not based on their own observations of nature and of, of, of what is. It's just based on culture, based on education system, the education system, and culture and religion. Oftentimes is what gives one their glorious and glamorous opinion. And then people will come up to you and, you know, like, here is my opinion. I think my opinion really matters. Of course, this is coming from a guy who uh, makes videos, you see. So I, uh, I put up my opinion out there. It's every video is an opinion in, in many ways. What is it? Timothy Deary says, every reality is an opinion. You make up your own reality. So I am uh, in these videos just giving you my opinion. However, I do take my time to observe and reflect and contemplate before I construct an opinion. That I do. And uh, it, doesn't mean, it doesn't make my opinion right. It doesn't make my opinion wrong. It just makes it more informed. It makes it more considerate of what is it may you know i do take my time i reflect i contemplate and then i uh, put out my asshole i put out my opinion and it doesn't make it right it doesn't make it wrong you take it as an opinion and uh its validity depends on your own opinion and your own perception of reality the problem is that the vast majority of human beings have not taken the time to construct a reasonable opinion. Their opinion is based on their culture, religion, and education system. I'll give you an example. If you go to a Muslim country, somewhere in the Middle East, and uh, if you're a Middle Eastern woman, and you take off the hijab, which is the scarf that they put on their hair, you are risking a lot. You are risking a lot. Okay, may, sometimes it, it comes down to being disowned. Your family can disown you for such a, such a course of action, such an action on your part. You can be disowned if you take off your scarf. It's a, it's a pretty scary thing to do if you're in a conservative Muslim country. But that's their opinion. What is that opinion based on? It's based on a 1,500-year-old uh, commandment in the Quran or in the Hadith or something like that. A, a very, very outdated opinion. A 1,500-year-old outdated mental construct. Opinion. It was the opinion of the Prophet Muhammad and the people around him at the time that women should put on a scarf to cover up their hair so that, you know, uh, it, it, for whatever reason, so people, because people couldn't control their lust, I suppose, or whatever. Okay, and that opinion might have been useful for the people that living 1,500 years ago, but is it useful now? Was it even useful 1,500 years ago? I don't know. I didn't live then. Maybe I did. Maybe I was. I feel like I was around those times. I was incarnated in some, some form in uh, 700 AD Arabia. But again, I can't be certain about that. And uh, let's just say I don't know because I am not currently, my awareness is not in that time period. So was it useful then? Was it a valid opinion? Was it reasonable? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Is it valid now? Is it reasonable? No, no. Oh, but it is our opinion and we might disown you for that. We, we, or we will really, really like, really, really neglect you. I'll stop giving you allowance money until you put your hijab back on. An opinion. And so you realize that. You realize that most people, the vast majority of human beings, opinion is based on their programming, cultural, religious, and educational system. Oh, there is nothing after death. You know, consciousness is generated in the brain. 
after death, nothing happens. You die, you cease to exist, and that is that. Materialistic paradigm. Science. Science is an opinion. <laughs> Science is an opinion. Purely opinion. It's pure speculations. No different than anything else. And some opinions may seem reasonable to you. So, some opinions. So, I mean, science certainly seemed reasonable to me for a long time. Then psychedelics happened. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. And uh, then I went on to form new opinions based on new observations. And, uh, you know, now I have like an, a, certain opinions, you know, new formed opinions based on new information, new observations, etc., etc., etc. Some opinions are reasonable. Some opinions contain the truth. You know, it's not that all opinions are invalid or unreasonable. No, it's just truth is hard as hell to find. It really is hard as hell because we're in the Kali Yuga. We're in the age of darkness. And as the Hindus describe the Kali Yuga, they describe it as the age of deception. The age where most decep deception, deceptive information is, is readily available. So we're in the deceptive age. And so it, 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 some opinions are the truth. They are, they, are, they, have, they are no longer opinions. They are the truth. But they are far and few in between. Very, very difficult to find. Very, very difficult to point. So it isn't that there is no such thing as truth out there. It isn't that there is no such thing as validity. No, there is cert certain things that are valid. But they're hard as hell to find. And so then how could you care? How could you care about what people think? It's absurd to care about what people think because you're submitting to mental constructs that have no base in reality. You know, they, they have no base in reality. Let's take the let's take the opinion. Uh there is nothing wrong with nudity. Human beings sh should, should be allowed to be nude without being uh, arrested or being, you know, called names or you're a whore, you're a slut, this and that. That's an opinion. But let's take it a little bit further here. Let's observe uh, the natural world. Well, all animals are also nude and naked. Okay, well, but Saeed, you know, we have evolved beyond animals. You know, we're higher. I mean, you always say this in your videos, don't you? We're highly evolved beings. We are the highest evolved organism on the planet. Okay, so then, uh, you know, due to our complexity and this and that, you know, we should put on clothes. Okay, let's let's look at babies here. Babies slide into this dimension, and uh, they're naked. You know, they're they're totally naked. So we're looking at the most basic. It's our basic suit as human beings. Does it make sense to put on clothes? Oh, but Saeed, you know, there's a lot of people that are stuck in the sex chakra, and uh, you know, if everybody was naked, then you know, people would be raping one another and all kinds of problems would happen and would occur. So, you know, what's, uh, you know, what's your, what's your take on that? You know, don't, don't you think we should put on clothes? Uh, I don't think so because that, you're just masking the problem. You're repressing it. Your an energy cannot be created nor destroyed. So if you repress this urge, it's going to, get perverted in, into other ways. And so people develop all kinds of sexual perversions and fantasies and stuff like that because, you know, like uh, men, for example, are obsessed with the naked female body. Obsessed. Why? Because you can't see it. it you, you, it's not normalized. So p men are obsessed. So actually what's creating a lot of these perversions and fantasies and, uh, you know, rape and stuff like that a lot of it has to do with the with the 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 fact that nudity is not normalized it isn't a normal thing if nudity is a normal thing believe me it it would lose a lot of its uh it would lose a lot of its what's the word i'm looking for here 
allure, I suppose. We lose a lot of its allure, a lot of its mystery. Like, I wonder what you look without clothes. I must find out what you look without clothes. You know, I would lose it and then it would become a normal thing. And that's just, again, that's an opinion, but it's based on just certain observations and certain things that seem to make more sense. So, I would still say certain opinions are more reasonable than other opinions. It isn't that, uh, oh, it's all an opinion and it all doesn't matter. No, certain opinions are certainly more reasonable than others. If you contemplate more, if you reflect more. Just recognize and realize that most human beings are programs. Programs. It's not that there is no soul in there, but it's just a program and a soul that has long forgotten who it is. And so people will project on their opinion to you based on their cultural, religious, and educational programming, period. 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 Without a doubt. That's what it is. And when you realize that, you kind of loosen up your... Uh, your I give a fuck uh, detector. Because it's just like, why am I even caring here? This, These are all... People are projecting onto me outdated mental constructs that either never made sense to begin with or maybe made sense at some point but no longer make sense. Mental constructs, mental programs, all of it. So yeah, opinions are like assholes. Everybody got one. At the end of the day, you have to trust your own discernment. You have to trust your own opinion also. Okay, I mean, uh, and you have to be also flexible enough to change, to uh, form new mental constructs, also known as opinions, also known as assholes. If you are faced with new evidence, new findings, new reflections, etc., etc., etc. And so keep that also in mind. Keep an open mind. Keep an openness about the whole thing. There's a good chance that a lot of your opinions right now are not as reasonable as you think they may be. Okay? Um, give you an example here before we finish off the video. It was my opinion a few years ago that I need to eat meat, I need to eat fish, I need to eat a uh, high protein diet uh, in order for me to thrive, in order for me to meet my nutritional needs. It was my opinion that I should be eating three times a day. It was my opinion. What else was my opinion back then? Yeah, it was my opinion that, hmm, let's see. It was my opinion that the world is real. And, uh, you know, the mat everything is material. And when we die, nothing happens after. Those were all my opinions just a few years ago. But as I began to learn more and more, I, based on new observations, new findings, whether it's via me going into meditation or receiving information or reflecting upon it, I had to change that. Part of the reason why I deleted the fitness channel because I realized most of it is no longer makes sense. It's not it's no longer reasonable. It's no longer reasonable for me because a lot of the opinions that I shared on that fitness channel no longer make sense. They never made sense to begin with. They were based on false information and based on false mental constructs. And so I ended up deleting it because I I thought, "Hey, look, you know, I you know, I, it doesn't make sense anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I, it doesn't make sense. And so be open. Be open. Be open also. A lot of times we think we have arrived, but we haven't arrived just yet. 
and even when we form new mental constructs, new opinions, they could be more truthful, more reasonable than the previous opinions, but not yet 100% reasonable. They may need some refining, they may need some tweaking, etc., etc., etc. So keep an open mind also. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you to the Patreons for your uh, continuous support. I love you guys. And uh, man, we get, we're up to 31 now. So thank you very much. One love. And uh, you can also add me on Instagram, Saeed Mobayed, if you want to reach out in person. The link for Patreon in the description if you have the urge to join the Patreon family. And until next time, may the force be with you.